Hi everyone. In this video we're going to have a look at the electrical panel family and how we can create an electrical panel family that will host a symbol. Now the OTP or what they refer to as out of the box Revit panel family is not able to host a metric generic annotation family which of course is a symbol. So this is the out of the box family. In the reference level if we insert one of those symbols then we'd be able to say override the graphics of the symbol so that it is only visible in a course view for instance and we would expect that if we took the geometry and overrode its graphics so that it's visible in both the medium and fine detail views that it would display only the symbol within a course view. Now this unfortunately doesn't happen. As we can see when it's loaded into the project and the view is changed out to a course view there is no symbol that appears even though the model geometry does disappear. So a typical workflow that we find within Revit is to start off with a family that isn't the family that this is unfortunately it's the wrong family template that is a lighting family we want to have a just a metric generic wall based family so let's quickly open that start a new family from the metric generic wall based template family template and the idea behind it is that we recreate the geometry of the panel so we'll quickly do that and then after we do that we'll see that we can change out the family type and when we do so and we change it out to a, a electrical equipment family uh, panel family then it will also automatically generate the functionality and the parameters that we are used to within a panel family now although I'm not doing it within this blog uh, note that if you would want to render such a panel properly uh, one would also generate a void that would cut itself out of the wall in this case we're just modeling the positive shape getting the uh, size to be the same as the other panel locking the one side and then using the quality constraint to give us that width which is what we require 508 is the same as the other panel we can align it to the face of the wall and lock it that's an assembly constraint that's going to keep it flush to the wall We get the thickness to be 146 and the extrusion up to 1.2 meters with offset of 200 off the ground and that will now be the same size as the other panel board. Remember to press enter after you edit one of those dimensions. We'll insert the same symbol family and do the same graphics overrides as we've done with the out of the box family and we will see that their behavior differ. Once again saying that the panel should not be visible in a course view but that the symbol should only be visible in the course view. Finally since this is a generic wall based family have a look at the type properties there's only some identity data go to the type change out the 
type to an electrical panel, electrical equipment panel board family, and it automatically creates the parameters that you should see. Save the file, load it into the project and place it, and then we're going to see the difference between the out-of-the-box family and the family that we've just created. Of course you would still have to create the electrical connections and fill out the required information through the parameters, but at least as far as generating a symbol for a panel board family, this is the way to go. So medium course shows the panel, the geometry, but a course view shows us the symbol. And that is what we want. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and best of luck creating your MEP families, and let us know if you need assistance doing so. Until next time.